guys it's a girl cindy welcome back again to this channel so i just want us to see this video from this black woman she is basically sharing a conversation between her and other white women and a younger white woman now the older white woman said to them that her mom and her aunt taught her or told her that as a white person she should not bathe every day because her skin is pure now she proceeded to say that it is only black people that should bathe every day because their skin and pure so i'm gonna let this video roll so you guys can hear the full conversation please stay with me guys i mean trigger warning if at some point watching this video you feel triggered please click out i listened to her story i i was like no way no way she didn't say that please check this video out hey y'all listen have y'all seen the video of the young man who's the truck driver who had a conversation with an older white man at a restaurant who the older white man basically confessed that when he was a firefighter back in the 60s and 70s how him and his firefighter buddies used to let black people burn and listen to their screams and allow them to burn to death because of the 60s and 70s because they were black okay i tagged him at the bottom go to his page find the video <laughs> and, 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 and take a listen but listen let me put this trigger warning out here everybody can't listen to this so know your mindset and know your trigger level okay before you go listen to it so here is a thumbnail of that video the the video the black woman just talked about because I have reacted to it. Now, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to pin it in the comment so you can go check it out. But like she said, trigger warning. If at some point watching that video you feel triggered, kindly click out. Because the story that this black man shared in that video is going to blow your mind. Even though black people are not surprised. But yeah. I just, you know, thought to let y'all know that I have reacted to that video and I'm going to pin it in the comment. Let's proceed. But anyway, once I listened to his video, it just brought me back to just a couple days ago. And I'm a true believer in things happen in threes. I, I, I don't know where I get it from, but I'm a true believer. Things happen in threes. So a few days ago, there were two patients in the waiting room. They were the last two patients of the day. One was a middle-aged white woman. The other was an older white woman. I would say she was probably in her 70s or 80s, right? And there was me. Me and the middle-aged white woman were having a conversation because she follows me on TikTok. I follow her. And we were talking about the whole washcloth thing. Age-old topic, right? So as me and her are talking, the, the middle-aged white woman goes, she goes, I don't get it. She said, I honestly think it's the South versus the North thing. She said, because me growing up in the South, in the Carolinas, she said, you can't come in my house without a washcloth. Now, you're going you gonna to use a washcloth to wash your butt. She says, I, I really think it's Northern white people who don't do it. So we just giggling amongst ourselves and we're talking. The older white lady looks at the younger white lady and looks at her kind of strange. And she goes, I'm sorry. She says, I'm confused. You use a washcloth? You bathe every day? So the younger white woman looks at her and goes, yes, ma'am. I bathe every day, sometimes three times a day. And yes, I grew up using a wash rag. The older white woman looks at the younger white woman and then looks at me. She goes, I can understand why she bathes every day, but I'm confused why you do. She says, honey, you're white. Your skin is pure. White skin is pure. We don't have to bathe every day because our skin is pure. Black people have to bathe daily because they don't know when they're dirty and, and their skin is not pure as our skin. wait what <laughs> so the younger white woman looks at the older white woman and then looks at me and she looks and says to the older white woman she said 
are you serious right now? She goes, I'm very serious. She said, when I was growing up, back in the 40s, I was always told by my mama and my grandmama and my aunts and everybody in my family, white skin is pure. Black skin is not pure. If your skin is darker than my skin, you need to bathe every day because you have impurities in your skin. Black people don't know when they're dirty. So they have to bathe every day so they can be accepted by society. Now it's 2024. And this is her mindset. This is what she... And, and again, this is her mindset and this is how she raised her children. Now, her children would be my age, because I'm 54. She's close to my mama age. You understand? So, if she raised her children like this, her children are raising their children like this. You get where I'm going? Okay. Let me tell you something. I've talked to a lot of people because of my profession. And I kid you not when I say this, and I do not say this to be ugly. It is more likely than it's not to find people with this, this mindset. It's more likely than not to find people with this mindset. To find people with the mindset of that 89-year-old man who dressed in the 60s and the 70s. I was born in 1970. That was only 54 years ago. You understand? It's more likely than not to find people with that mindset. Yeah. Let that sit in your head and marinate for about 10 minutes. And then we can come back and talk about it. All right. Bye. So after listening to this black woman's story, you know, the conversation, I paused for a while. And of course, this older woman must have told her own kids the same thing. And her kids will also tell their own kids the same thing. That white people's skin are pure. Anyways, you guys, I just want us to see just two stitches. And I'm going to show you some screenshots of comments I grabbed from her comment section. Now, remember that this conversation took place in 2024. Mm. Check the stitches out. Black skin is not pure. If your skin is darker than my skin. White supremacy is a funny thing, but a lot of them believe this. There was a tweet I saw a little while ago, I think last week, where a white man was like, I don't like that some black people smell too much like soap. It's a generational thing because back then the Europeans weren't bathing like that. The story of the woman on here, I think she was Mexican. She said that when the Europeans came to the Mayas or the Aztecs, one of those civilizations, they would follow them around with um, incense. And the, the, the Europeans were like, oh my God, they love us. They think we're gods. But it was really because they smelled so badly. Couldn't stand their stench. So they had to like parade around with oils and roses and flowers around them to quell the stench of them. Because they were on those ships for months and they were surrounded by water and they didn't even touch it. I think in the morning they would like use one of these to like wash their hands and their faces but for the most part they didn't bathe in, in the way that we know bathing as like sur submerging yourself in water louis the 14th the 17th century king of france is said to have only taken three baths in his entire life and they thought that submerging their whole body in water was unhealthy and that taking all of your clothes off was an immodest those were the Puritans. They were whack jobs. The idea of being clean wasn't closely associated with water in the 17th century. They had bathhouses, but they would only go there as like a medic medicinal cure or only go there to like cool off when it was really, really hot. And those handful of baths that Louis XIV took, those were on the advice of a doctor to treat his convulsions. He was having seizures. <laughs> Cleanliness to the extent that people thought about it in the 17th, 17th century had more to do with what we now call underwear than anything. They kept themselves clean by changing the white linens under their clothes. The cleaner and whiter the linens, the cleaner that the person. 
or the thinking way meaning if i my clothes look clean then i'm clean i'm gonna order his book because it's, it talks extensively about it just to like you know just learn something because they did understand the concept of being dirty because if they wore white collars and, and there was a nasty ring around the collar they would know that they were unclean so changing that was their sign of, of cleanliness and also cleaning their bed sheets going to bed without taking off one's other clothes was considered an un unhygienic and immoral a colonist in Maine accused his maid of being sluttish for going to, to bed with her clothes and stockings thus dirtying her bed linens. The Native Americans that colonists encountered had different priorities in terms of hygiene, like the Winnipeg. Most Native Americans bathed openly in, in rivers and streams, and they also thought it was gross for Europeans to carry their own mucus around in handkerchiefs. They are kind of right about that. It's kind of gross. And the natives' teeth were better in better shape because they had methods to clean themselves, including brushing their teeth with wooden chew sticks, chewing on fresh herbs like mint to freshen their breath, and rubbing charcoal on their teeth to whiten them. In contrast, most Europeans who came over may may not have brushed their teeth at all and had a and had a diet that was generally worse for their oral health. And of course, this is the danger to native people because all the microbes and germs that they had on their body and their and on their clothes, they passed those microbes to Native, native Americans who had no prior exposure to them and therefore had no immunity. Historians estimate that Europeans' diseases wiped out more than 90% of native people in the coastal New England before 1620, the year the pilgrims arrived. Over the next few decades, European diseases would wipe out millions more. Of course, it was kind of laborious also, because what you or your maid had to go and fill one of these up, and that took multiple trips, and you probably didn't want to do that. This is getting long, so I'll just end here. When her husband, this is getting long, so I'll end it here. When her husband built her her an outdoor shower, Elizabeth Dringer, an 18th century Philadelphia Quaker woman, reportedly wrote in her diary, I bore it better than I expected, not having been wet all, all over at once for 28 years past. <laughs>We don't have to bathe every day because our skin is pure. Black people. I finally have my answer because I've been wondering about this debate on why white people don't use washcloths and why they just find it like just so disgusting and like they just have this aversion to taking a bath every day. It's because of racism. And so every time somebody is like, everything is not about race, but clearly it is. And this, in that video that I stitched, the lady is talking about, um, and a conversation between her an older white woman and a younger white woman the older white woman basically said that her mom her aunts and her grandma all taught her that she didn't need to bathe every day because her white skin is pure black people need to bathe every day because apparently we don't know when we're dirty it's racism so this video went viral on tiktok it has over two million views and people were wowed in the comment now i took some screenshots of comments as you can see on your screen please pause to read if you want to now i was reading comments i saw comments from some white women and they said this is a thing you know basically they were told you know something and some black people were telling them you know to do the needful basically i don't know i just thought i should bring this video here so we all could see it together there is nothing wrong just bathe morning afternoon if you can and then at night there's nothing like white people's skin are pure there is nothing like that it is called hygiene 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 just have your shower now the fact that she could say that like literally she could say that thinking that she is right like basically telling her fellow white person not to bathe every day because her skin is pure what do we call that wow anyways you guys i thought i should bring this video here let me know what you all think in the comment guys and thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like this video share comment and of course come back for another video i'm gonna see y'all in my next one stay blessed bye